As I've mentioned, on the exam it's all about horizon. So on the exam, notice by the way that I'm admin right here, which isn't really necessary. I can do this as a cloud user as well. Uh, on the exam, you uh, go to uh, the compute option on the project and you just so select volumes. Right here, we can see how easily all this integrates uh, with the information that is displayed in Horizon. We can see the volumes that I have created from the command line automatically being added to the Horizon interface as well. So let me click Create Volume and let's call it ADM Vol. I need to figure out what. Uh, dummy Test Volume. Uh, do we want a source? No, we don't really need a source. We can uh, actually refer to an LVM volume that's already existing uh, if we want to attach to something uh, already in place in the configuration. But that's not what I, wa what I want. I just want an empty volume here. So we can sp specify the size in the gigabytes and the availability zone, which by default is Nova. So I click Create Volume. And we can see that the volume has been added. Uh, there are a couple of options available. So you can extend the volume if you want to. You can manage attachments, uh, which is about the virtual machines currently using the volumes. You can create snapshots and you can uh, even upload an image. So some management tasks are available here. So if you want to do snapshots, of course this only makes sense for volumes that have been in use already. And you want to make sure that by creating a snapshot, uh, you can create a consistent backup, for example. So if you want to create a snapshot, don't go to volume snapshots. It looks like you can find your snapshots here, and that is correct, but creating a snapshot is a management task on the volume itself. So you're going to click create snapshot, and that allows you uh, to define the snapshot. So what was the name again of my volume? ADM vol, so let's call it ADM vol snap. A description, I don't need that, I just want to create a snapshot. Now we can see that the volume snapshot is now being added and listed uh, in the list of available volumes. Now this allows you to revert uh, back to uh, the, the moment that the snapshot has been created in case you run into trouble uh, with this volume. The next task would be to assign this volume to the instance in OpenStack. Uh, assigning an, a volume to an instance in OpenStack is pretty easy. Uh, you do that by selecting Manage Attachments. But we haven't talked about instances yet, so we see uh, no instances are available, uh, which makes sense uh, because we still need to configure them. And we will do that in an upcoming lesson. And that's all you need to know about managing volumes in Horizon.